Just like many everyday Americans, I love coming down to the beach, hearing the waves, feeling the breeze on my skin, and thinking about machine guns. And boy, am I thinking about a hot one today. That is the Surefire MGX, an extremely rare machine gun. Only two of them were ever made. The MGX was patented by Jim Sullivan in 2002, purchased by Surefire in 2008. And this masterpiece is an open bolt. AR-15 meets Ultimax meets Stoner 63 light machine gun. And its claim to fame is that it is so modular, you can shoot 100 rounds of 5.56 through it, change barrels, change calibers, change bolts, shoot 100 rounds of 6.8 millimeter through it, and that entire process will take you under a minute. Pretty cool stuff, so I was elated when Barry Duke brought me into his personal vault at Surefire, showed me the MGX, said we're gonna shoot this thing later today, but before we hit the range, he was more than glad to give us a walkthrough and a little bit of the history of this magnificent light machine gun. Guys, check it out. Hey, I'm Barry Duke. I'm the Vice President of Suppressors and Weapons here at Surefire. We're standing in one of our weapons vaults, which uh, doubles as my default office, and Got a really special gun to show the TFB TV crew, the Surefire MGX. This is Jim Sullivan's latest creation. Now, Jim Sullivan, he designed the M16 for Eugene Stoner. He designed the Ultimax 100 in Singapore, the Ruger Mini 14, Ruger 77. Pre-production sample, it's nine pounds and change. Weight-wise, you know, at around nine pounds when you look at the thickness of the barrel, one place that a lot of people skimp on machine guns or anything when they're trying to reduce weight, take the M60 Echo 3 for an example, is a gun purchased during peacetime. So everybody, uh, you know, you have to carry it, you're not shooting it, it's heavy. So it went from a 23 pound M60 to an 18 and a half pound M60 Echo 3. And then all of a sudden the Gulf War starts and you got Marines trading stuff with the Army to get the Army's heavy barrels from the old M60 to put on their M60 Echo 3s because, oh gee, now we're going to war and we actually need this gun to work. The stock folds left, folds right, comes off. So if you need to, if you wanted to change the different configurations of stock, this is a machine gun that will actually fit into a briefcase. So if we go back to an 11 and a half inch barrel, you put a few 60, 100, 60 or 100 round mags with it. Surefire 60 and 100 round magazines, those were actually designed to work with this machine gun. It actually closes up into a nice briefcase and you, know, you could walk in with your business suit anywhere you wanted to take it. The barrels drop out the bottom, so Depending on what I'm doing with the, with the gun, how much muzzle velocity I want, uh, can change change that. The other thing that you can do is change caliber. So those were 5.56 five, barrels. So I drop the bolt. Take the 5.56 five, operating mechanism out. Put in a 6.8. We just changed calibers from 5.56 to 6.8 SPC. Probably the most unique feature of it is it stays on target when firing. If you start firing, you can pull this thing off. You can hold it out here with one hand. It actually holds itself up. The only thing you got to remember, see if James uh, remembers this when he's firing it, you got to put it back in your shoulder or you look like a doofus when the magazine runs out because you're holding this thing out here all cool and all of a sudden it goes Ugh! and you don't look so cool anymore at the end of the video. Dude, that's unreal. I, I, it's like a laser gun. It's like a bullet hose. Like, turn, like flip it on your garden hose. That is awesome. Nothing else like it. Oh my God, can I do one more, please? Unbelievable weapon. Jim Sullivan is, you know, the most accomplished living gun designer. He's just brilliant. Hundreds of thousands of rounds fired uh, in an initial, initial prototype and build. You know, right now it's in a pre-production uh, format. Around 2008, 
Jim Sullivan came to Surefire, uh, spoke with Dr. Matthews, uh, owned Surefire, and said, hey, I got this great design for a machine gun. I can't get anybody to fund it. John didn't want this intellectual property, you know, dying. Jim's, you know, late 80s. Uh, super brilliant guy. So funded Jim to start up Arm West, and Jim designed the MGX or MG10, depending on uh, how you want to look at it. Uh, 556, 6.8 caliber convertible, but most importantly, it's a gun that literally just hovers on target wherever you aim it. What are you guys doing with it? Right now it's just sitting here in a vault. What's going on? I'd say it's a, it's a little bit in limbo. Uh, we have a lot of projects going on. We have some weapon stuff that you may be seeing here in the near future. The way I see it going to production is you know, being, being tailored around specific customer, maybe it gets M locks instead of Picatinny's, some minor tweaks on that. Maybe it uh, gets turned into a six ARC or something along those lines. So a lot, lot of different options. It's really gonna be customer driven as it goes into the future. Not what I was thinking. That is not what I was expecting it to do. <laughs> that was weird, in a very good way. Overall, it's a Jim Sullivan creation that just plain and simple works. And I can't emphasize enough the fact that this just doesn't recoil when you shoot it. We could end up uh, selling it. We could end up uh, putting it into production. We're kind of looking at the pros and cons of both right now. Real, realistically, I think it's likely that we're going to sell it to one of the companies that's already in the machine gun business to give this, give this machine gun life and get it into the hands of the operators that need it. That's the only one that exists, huh? Uh, Sullivan has an earlier generation prototype that uh -huh. he has, but this was the, you know, final, the final rev. Uh -huh. How, how many of them do you think exist? Two. <laughs> God, I hope I was recording.